My name is Alex Dorgen. I'm an Ansible solution specialist. And today I'm going to be talking about Ansible Vault and what it can be used for. So first, let's talk about what Ansible Vault is. Ansible Vault is just a command line utility that's installed as part of Ansible that provides a way for you to encrypt different variables and files. So now I don't have to worry about my sensitive data being out there in plain text. In many cases, I see this used to protect different machine credentials. Some of you are hosting group VARs, especially if I'm connecting to other utilities or APIs. And I can use this to encrypt just individual strings or entire files. I'll personally say I generally use entire files rather than strings just because it's easier to maintain and easier to rekey if I need to. So important reminder, this is only designed to protect data at rest. So obviously if I'm trying to use this in a standard variable and I have a debug statement in my playbook, I can still print out that data. So it's important to make sure that A, that you're reviewing your playbooks, making sure I'm doing things properly or using the no log module when it's required for different uh, aspects of what I'm trying to do. I can also set up different vaults and different passwords that have better access control over these different vaults. So I can have certain data in some vaults, certain data in other vaults to really lock down who can get access to what different variables. So how does it work? So Ansible Vault is a command line option. I've got a bunch of different things that I can do. So I can either use it to create an initial file and encrypt it with that password. I can also just encrypt an existing file. So maybe you already have group VARs created and I want to encrypt those. Maybe I need to decrypt them back to a normal text file to do some editing. Obviously I can just do Ansible Vault and edit to edit that particular file. Or if I just want to see the content that's there, I can use Ansible Vault View. And then as I talked about earlier, you know, maybe someone did get access to my Ansible Vault password for some reason. I can do Ansible Vault rekey to change that encryption password. So it gives me a very easy way to create and edit these different files, um, really depending on what your needs are. So then when I'm actually running playbooks, again, I can use this to, you know, whether it's with Ansible Playbook or Ansible Navigator, I can use Ansible Vault with that. So with Ansible Playbook, I can use different options, you know, such as ask vault pass or the vault password file. If I've got, as I said, multiple vaults, I can use that vault ID. Um, for Ansible Navigator, I will need to either use a vault password file and provide that in my Ansible config, or I can use environmental variables for that. Um, it doesn't have the ask options, just a limitation of Ansible Navigator, but personally, I still use Ansible Vault for all of my connection variables that I run from CLI. So let's jump into a demonstration to see how I can use Ansible Vault for different files. Now let's jump into actually using Ansible Vault. So as you can see, I already have a few files here. I have a very basic playbook that will actually go through the process of debugging on a variable that I'm gonna create. I've got an empty group vars folder, which is where I'll put all my connection variables. And then I have you know, a password file that I'll use in just a second. So in this case, I do wanna do Ansible Vault and I wanna create a new file, but I want this to be in my group vars and I want this to apply for all different hosts uh, in my inventory. In this case, I'm just gonna run this on local host, but I still wanna leverage that um, vault message variable. So when I try to create this file, it will ask me for a vault password. And now I can create that vault message and I can just call it whatever I want. This is a new vault message. Save it. And as you'll notice, if I try to view that particular file, it is now encrypted. So I do already have an existing password file and maybe I just want to encrypt this existing file. So I can do Ansible Vault encrypt that password file. And once again, have the option to assign it a vault password. And now that file is encrypted. I can do Ansible Vault decrypt or I can do Ansible Vault edit that password file. It will require obviously the vault password to jump in and now I can edit that particular file using my default editor, or I could do Ansible Vault view. Once again, asking me for that password and I can just see, so similar to just, you know, running a cat on that command, or I could do decrypt to decrypt that particular file. I can also do rekey re to change the vault password. But this really gives me that full capability to use Ansible Vault to make changes to different files or strings. So maybe I now actually want to run this particular uh, playbook using that variable that I set up before. So in this case, I'm just gonna use Ansible Navigator, I mean Ansible Playbook to do it. So I'll do Ansible Playbook. In this case, I want to ask for that vault pass. 
and I'll use that debug.yaml. And as you can see, it did, this is a new vault message, which is that vault password that I had set up previously. Do I use Ansible vault regularly? Absolutely yes. So this is VS Code where I do most of my playbook editing and I am running Ansible Navigator. So as you can see, I have an inventory here. Obviously I've got, you know, multiple different groups and variables. So for, you know, again, my higher level, all variables, I have that encrypted using Ansible Vault. Same thing for my individual group level variables. So it's important to note for Ansible Navigator, yes, I can use Ansible Vault, but I either have to store that Vault password somewhere securely on the file system, or I can store that Vault password in an environmental variable. For me, I've got it stored locally on my file system, and I just have my Ansible config pointing to that particular Vault password. So in my case, I've got it stored very securely, and then I have a link back to that particular file in my current working directory. Um, Ansible Navigator docs will have that information for you, and I'll paste that in the description down below. So where can you go from here? I'll include in the description down below a basic walkthrough of Ansible Vault using a blog, very similar to what I just walked through here. Also the Ansible Vault docs has all the information on the specific key requirements if you wanna use a Vault ID. So this gives you the capability to have multiple vaults within a single playbook run. So again, as I talked about with role-based access controls, trying to limit who gets access to what vaults, I can have that capability. And then there's also an FAQ that walks into how I can use Ansible Vault with Ansible Navigator which is what I do today. So thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about how Ansible Vault can be utilized to provide some at-rest encryption for my different passwords and keys. Thank you.